All right, so next little phase here is going to be body locks. I am in a 50-50 position with me and CJ. I got an over-under, he's got an over-under. He's got a lock, I got a lock. So we're here, right? The, the main thing I'm thinking about is having my lock when the center of his spine, I'm going to go to his tailbone area. Because for the high amplitude throw, I need a low lock to really get the height I want. So the first one I'm going to do is an outside step, okay? The key to this is blocking his foot from moving. So when I, when I step, I'm not going to hook and stay off the ground. I'm just using this as a way to close this space and bring my hips in. See how there's no space between my hips and his? So this throw is just going to be a real subtle pop. And I drill this the same way I would a double leg or a single leg. It's, it's technique. Kai smacks the mat, he doesn't pose to defend. There's no chance of injury here when doing this properly. So it's literally, his foot can't even be back like it is, right? A good guy, he probably will have his foot back because he doesn't want, if he brings his foot real close, now, now he's just giving me the throw. But if he's back, I might have to work a little harder to set it up. I like using this as a way to bring myself closer. So I'll step around and get to this position where I'm cinched. So for a brief second, my foot comes off the ground, but it's only to get me close enough to hit this throw. So I'm here. I'm pretty, pretty simple, right? Like, seeing it. I, uh, so I got the lock. I'm gonna lock him with my little trip. I'm gonna squat. Once I get to here, I'm squatting, and then I pop. Lock, squat, and pop. So in here, playing around, keep my lock nice and low. I have control over his hips here. Up here, I don't have really much control over him. I like this grip. You see me use this grip. I like it because I have more, more play, more movement in my, in my grip, in my lock as opposed to this, where I can't adjust my hands at all. I'm kind of locked to them here. This, I can move it all types of around. And then when I go throw, I can re-lock if I choose. So I'll squat, I could re-lock here. But I don't think that's necessary. I could... um, the main teaching points of that technique are this. A lot of us are going to do this. We're going to step, we're going to go to throw, and we're going to get to here, and we're going to pull, we're going to change our direction. We're going to pull, pull Might not look that bad, but it, it's, a lot, it's what a lot of us will do. We're not sagging, we're not pulling up onto us. I'm not even hitting my own back. I'm keeping my direction forward. So CJ and I are standing here. I should be landing over there because I'm going forward. I'm looking to where I'm going. I'm always throwing to my overhook side, the side that's overhooked. He has no post here, right? Look, look at this, he has a big post here. He has me trapped on that side. So I'm going to the side that's trapped and then I'm gonna take him forward. The, the way my momentum's going, I'm stepping this way Take them forward, because that's where all my momentum's going. So I'm here. And 